Hey guys, Star Fox J here with another Let's Play of Sonic Riders. Now, last time we left off, we left off playing in story mode. And, well, we actually kind of finished off the rest of the hero story, which was be in the side story of Sonic Tails and Knuckles, which was not that difficult. But the difficult story of this game is actually uh, the Babylon, the Babylon story. So we are now done from the hero side, and we're now moving on to the Babylonian side. So that means we're going to be playing with Jet, Storm, and Wave. So in the meantime, Jet, you are on and like lots of this or something like that. And we see Storm coming in, bursting in his office for no reason. Then all of a sudden, Wade comes out. I don't understand that. Why does every time when Storm has a problem, he just bursts into, bursts into Jet's office, like Jet, Jet's room like that, and just bangs the desk like he's on steroids? But let's find out anyway, shall we? Let's go. Hey, boss! Uh, uh, you got some major trouble! Storm! At least learn to knock before entering a room. What's this? Oh, is this? Yeah, that's when I took over things for my father. So is this the key to the fabled Babylon Garden? I wonder, could it be true? Could our ancestors have left behind hidden treasures that's just waiting to be discovered? Yep. Hmm. Uh-uh. If you get your greasy little hands on this, you'll probably use it in some crazy experiment of yours. Oh, come on. I only want to look at it. You always say you only want this or that. Remember the teachings of our ancestors. Be careful what you ask for. Ultimately, you'll only get three true wishes. Oh, be quiet. Why'd you burst in here anyway? Well, an egghead, egg salad, no. Someone called Eggman wants to speak to you. He told me that he has an interesting proposition for you. Stop interrupting. Knock it off. Hmm. <sighs> Am I interrupting anything? So then, I heard you wanted to see me? Are you Jet, the legendary rogue? Your reputation precedes you. I've heard so much about your infamous group. Enough! What do you want? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor that you have the key to Babylon Garden. Now, could this be true? Huh? What's this key? <laughs> really now? You don't have to be so distrusting. Are you aware of this? I imagine not yet. The key to Babylon Garden is... Huh. So let me get this straight. We just need to collect all these Chaos Emeralds, right? Sounds easy. You really think so, eh? What do you mean? Are you saying the Babylon rogues aren't capable of stealing some beauty emeralds? No, of course not. But have you seen this character before? He's called Sonic and said to be the fastest creature on Earth. I've had many, many dreadful encounters with this pest. Hmm. He may be the fastest creature on the ground. But in the air, with me and my extreme gear, he's just a joke! <laughs> I like that laugh that Jet always has. Every time we laugh like that, it's just so funny. Alright, so now we are here at the beginning of the hero story, aka the Babylon story. This is how when Sonic was chasing after Jet the Hawk, but from the Babylonian story, but they're pretty great. So now we're going to be racing, and as of right now, let me just tell you this. If you guys have this game, and you're playing it right now, make I make sure you're prepared for anything that Sonic has. Because right now, he's determined to beat you, being determined to beat you at any cost. Because in a Babylonian story, it is very, very hard. But if you're that good enough, if you're that good, then... Basically, then you're okay. And that means you know how to take down Sonic and you got attacks. But in the hero story, it's just very easy. Babylon story is hard. And I just do wings and I just fly up into the moon and do a little move. 
Sonic is right behind me. It's so Storm. You know, the thing I noticed, <laughs> the thing I noticed about Storm is that he has very small eyes. Like, if you look at Wave and Jet, their eyes are big. His are just, his are just, his is just very small. Very, very small. Not to pass to these cops, man. Jeez. If there's one thing I hate, I always end up crashing into something. Ooh. Uh, I think I almost crashed into something. I think someone almost crashed. Basically, I got the all. Oh. Okay, I'm running out of air, running out of air, running out of air, running out of air. Oh, this. I got a level up. And I'm in first place, and I'm just tearing up. I'm just tearing up the race trap right now. I'm in first place. Man. Playing as Jet the Hawk is so awesome. Like, very awesome. And you know that, because. Because Jet is like the. Jet is like the opposite of Sun, basically. But besides running on ground, he's fast one. He's home for it. But you know what? Here's the thing that I noticed. Um, I, here's the thing that I noticed from like years ago, when um, when Jet the Hawk, when this game came out and they introduced Jet the Hawk, I didn't even know who he was. Like, I noticed that he was a all new char a new character, a part of the Sonic, uh, Sonic, uh, the Sonic series. And to be honest, I kind of hate him because he almost looks like Sonic, but. So years later, I actually kind of liked him because he was like, he was arrogant and cocky and everything, and he was the leader of the Babylonians. And I was like, wow. That's good. So, anyways, we got past this one, so now we're gonna go to the next one and see who we have to play as. I get it, okay? It just floats, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> huh? Sorry, but it's just too funny. Let's see. Huh? That gear's unusual. Customized it myself. Hmm. This, this isn't half, half bad, bad for an amateur. amateur. Still, Still, you can never, you never be, be too, too careful. careful. Oh my gosh, you planted a bomb hmm. right there on Sonic's <laughs> Anybody who didn't see I that in the hero store. I never imagined anyone would enter the race with such a piece of junk. <laughs> Knuckles wanted to punch her so bad. Thanks, though. It was good you for saw, If you saw a knuckle, just... <laughs> see ya, shorty. Oh, that girl! Who does she think she is? Y'all saw how Knuckles was just... Which is trying to hold it in. He really, really wanted to punch Storm right, punch Wave right in the face. <laughs> I said Storm. He really wanted to punch Wave in the face real hard. All right, so we're at Red Canyon. We're about, about to face Amy. Now I know, I know this. I know this why when we was in um Sand Ruins, why Amy was back into her normal clothes, why Amy wasn't in her extreme gear clothes, is because in this one. When she faced Wave in the race, I guess she got eliminated and Wave beat her. And that's how she ended up not being in the finals. And that's kind of sad. Well, when a person like her is not as good as Sonic as she claims to be. Besides, Jamie really not that good. She's just... So I'm gonna go fly up here. And to be honest, I, I actually kind of like playing as Wave because, you know... She's a flying type, and she's and she's kind of cool, you know. Even though she's like the second techno geek, just like Tails, but she's not like a techno tech like she's not like Tails. She's just like a cool kind of techno geek. Like she events cool things, but she events all kind of technology. I mean, to be honest, she event she invented the uh, the two gears for Jet and Storm. <clears throat> and um, I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know how Storm cannot use her retreat here that well, but she. So the thing is, if you guys know, if you guys, if you guys comment below, who is who is the better, who is the smartest out of these? Who do you think is the smartest, Tails or Wave? Because to me, I actually think that Tails is the smartest. But 
Wave claims she's like the smartest extreme gear specialist. And on top of that, even though Wave is a techno geek, she's like kind of like a rude techno geek. Because she's a part of Babylon. Jeez, Amy, oh, Amy is just getting really nervous. Okay, I'm gonna have to give Amy. I'm gonna have to give Amy the chance. I'm gonna have to give her the tool. I'm right behind her too. I'm gonna have to give her the weapon. I'm gonna have to attack Amy so she can get the freak out of my way. There we go. <laughs> uh, Wave said how was that? I don't even know how she bounced. How the freak did she bounce back after that? I mean, I mean, I just gave her. I just gave her a. An attack to the head, and that has a hurt. That really has a hurt. I mean, if I was hit with a giant weapon like that, I know I'd be out. I know I would have a concussion or something. So we beat Amy, and we came in first place. Basically, Wave did her thing. She just gave her, <laughs> she just gave her the attack and knocked Amy out to second place. That is awesome. By the way. So now we're gonna go on with the next story. Next storyline of this one, and try to see if we get who are we playing as next. I forgot. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Um. No, we're flying above the mountains from this morning, from last night. Sorry. And he falls off his chair again. Red dude beat me in the race. Man, you really are worthless. Boss, it wasn't my fault. He, he must have cheated. That's it. He must have used some special type of gear. What? Are you implying that you lost because of my gear? No one can tune a gear the way I can. Accept it, buddy. It's not the board. Your skills just suck. What? S -s suck? Yes, S-U-C-K, suck. So, so, stop it! Now, let's get down to business. I believe our colleague Eggman, he's gotta be hiding something. And you know, I don't like secrets, so I've got a job for you, Storm. Sure. I want you to sneak into Eggman's base and find out what he's hiding there. Make sure you look carefully. You got it, boss. Hey, before you go! Bring something back, or don't return at all! Yes, sir! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, man. Jet is, jet is ticked off. Ah! And it's a home run. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what? Uh, I cannot believe that Storm actually did that. Jet just let all his anger out on me. So we're gonna be playing in the air, Ice Factory. This is where I told you where me and my cousin like to play that Chaos Emerald game at um, in the survival one, but this is one of our favorite scenes that we like to play together. <clears throat> so we're gonna be playing as Storm, the opposite, like, we're, like we have played as Knuckles and we just play Storm. But in this story, you know, in this story, in, in the Babylonian story mode, all you have to do is just get in first place. And it's just so difficult. And besides that, when you wait, when I first played as Storm, when I was first trying out the Babylon story, it was just, it was so hard to play with Storm because I was on an icy level like this and, and he was, and I didn't realize that he was like the same as Uncle, but his attack was just, I don't know. Storm's attack was just kind of of a bore or something like that, but his attack was actually kind of strong because all he used was his fist and knocked out people the same as Knuckles. And so basically him and Knuckles are basically the same, but here's the thing. His hands, look at his hands. His hands are just big, just like, uh, just like Knuckles is. But if you see that, um, and if you can, uh, I don't know, if you compare both of their fists, I don't know who's is bigger than who, but... Storms is just very big, I mean... 
I mean, with that kind of, with that kind, with that kind of, with that kind of insight, you guys can not to know on the punch in the face. And the same thing can go for Knuckles, but there's a difference. When Knuckles, when Knuckles fits, Knuckles can climb. Storm, on the other hand, he can just punch things and make things crumble. That's a difference. Well, yeah, that's probably the difference between these two. And besides, Storm is. So, anyways, we're in first place now. I'm trying to get rid of these stupid robots. That signs. This isn't just right. Oh my god, come on. God, every time I try, every time I use a boost, my attack, my thing always ends up going no reason. This is basically so difficult. Very difficult. You can try a flying type or speed type or a power. Type. It's easy if you use a power. If it's, it's very easy if you use a power type in Eggman exactly like this. But I prefer to use like Sonic the Hedgehog. It's got the same because it's like fast and you can grind all rails in this one and it's very very easy out. That gold thing. So I got the gold ring and I'm slipping. I need to get some air a little bit. And I'm in last place. Okay. Let me try to knock this robot out. No, I cannot. Okay, so I just passed. So I just passed the robot and we're on our final lap and we're about to do a trick move. There we go. And we are done with that one. We are done with that one. Let me just tell you this. When I first started it, I hated hated storm like really really did because every time I kept losing and it took me like at least five or seven tries to beat this thing and it was just very very hard to beat it because he was just I don't know I, I just couldn't control control storm because all of a sudden I see robots that was flying I just see these E 1000 G's flying and grinding on rails and what did I do? All I just had to do was use my speed boost and then punch these things. And it was just very difficult. I mean I mean I was just I just wanted to like just wanted to give up and quit at that time. But then when I nearly got things down pat, I just got in first place by a lucky thing. I don't know. I forgot how it happened, but yeah, I just got in first place and that was it. But the thing is, in the story mode, if you get in first place a lot in both Babylon and Euro, you could actually unlock something. Well, you could actually unlock Jet's um, mission mo Jet's um, mission selection and mission mode. But yeah, Storm was just very hard. I mean, I hated the guy, and he was just. But to be honest, as as you get used to it, I actually kind of liked him because. Not only did he have a cool attack, but I actually know how to use it better. Besides, the guy doesn't even basically know how to use them. Basically, knows how to win a race. So anyways, we're going to end the gameplay here. And next time, we'll be back with the next gameplay of Sonic Rider. So I'm Star Fox Jet, signing out.